Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Star Wars The Black Series Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary Retro Carded George Lucas in Stormtrooper Disguise. Let's get into it! Let's start our convention cosplay circuit with a look at the packaging. And here we have on the front, Lucasfilm Limited 50th Anniversary Star Wars 4 and Up Assortment Number. Nice classic looking packaging. Very rem reminiscent of those original Kenner figures. In fact, it says Kenner right there. Warning! Don't stick things in your pie hole that do not belong there. And then we have a nice representation of Mr. Lucas in his cosplay. In that nice bubble there showcasing the figure and his accessories. In fact, it says George Lucas in cosplay disguise. I mean, Stormtrooper disguise right there. Then on the back, here we have a nice photograph of George Lucas. Right here it says, on the set of Star Wars A New Hope. And I don't know if that's in Tunisia, Africa or if it's in the deserts of California. But there he is with a sand trooper giving some direction. Star Wars The Black Series, George Lucas in Stormtrooper Disguise. We pay homage to George Lucas and his remarkable accomplishments in film with a likeness of the director himself, clad in the distinctive armor of Imperial Stormtrooper. Shouldn't it be an, of an Imperial Stormtrooper? But anyway, there it is. Uh, 1977 is when that photograph was taken, I suppose. Uh, Lucasfilm Limited 50th. If you want to look at all that timeline stuff, there it is. You can pause it and take a look at all that. Then we have small, fine, legalese, made in China print. Symbols I'm not going to learn. A barcode. Includes figure and two accessories. Attention! Don't stick things in your French pie hole. Achtung! Don't stick things in any other language pie hole that do not belong there. Don't give it to the babies. Disney print, Hasbro print, and that, my friends, completes our look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories and handy dandy tweezers here. Let's start off with his blaster. Nicely detailed, molded in color. And it does have, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it does have like little flecks, like glittery flecks in the plastic. So it was molded that way. But anyway, again, nice molded detail in his blaster. Then we have his helmet, which is exactly like the new Mandalorian uh, Imperial Stormtrooper helmet. So it's got all those paint apps on it. And it looks really, really nice. Well, let's take a look at the figure himself. And I will have to say, this is a decent likeness of George Lucas. It's not the greatest. I'm sure there's somebody has done better out there, but as far as a mass produced figure, this does seem to be pretty good. Uh, paint apps, you know, he's got the, the wash in there. So it looks pretty nice. And I mean, it, it, it does look like George Lucas. And, you know, at some angles it doesn't, but 
I don't know if we could find a torso with a plaid shirt. That would be awesome. And as far as the rest of the figure goes, you know, it's all just like that Mandalorian Stormtrooper. This is on the body, really the only paint app, unless these are the blackest paint apps. Probably molded all in white, and the blacks are paint apps on it. And really clean. Clean white. Hopefully it doesn't yellow too quickly. Paint app right here on the mortar thingy. Let's take a look at his articulation. He can look up that far. And it looks like the head and the neck are on separate pieces and there's like a post with a ball on it at the base of the neck and then I'm sure it's probably a dumbbell in the neck and the head. He looks down that far. He can chicken neck. He's got all kinds of waggle going on there, neck and the head. Faster, more intense. He can do the full exorcist. The shoulder plate here is a separate piece with a strap that goes down between the, the torso and the arm. And the arm has the pin in it that pins through there. And does have a butterfly joint on there. I forget that this one has a butterfly joint in it. Forward that far, back that far. And at the shoulder, looks like this one comes up about 90 degrees does get a full 360 degree rotation and you have to watch out rotating it because sometimes this piece doesn't like to move with the rest of the arm at the elbow way better than 90 degree bend and it's on a hinge and swivel so you get a 360 degree rotation there as well as well as at the wrist and that's on an in and out hinge and the other hand is on an up and down hinge. Cut here where the chest plate meets the torso armor for all kinds of hula hula motion there. Bends back that far and forward that far and of course you know you get the side to side going on too. Nothing at the waist. At the hips gives you that much of the splits. Kicks forward approximately 90 degrees and will kick back that far until it hits the butt plate. But this is actually a lot better articulation range of motion than most Black Series figures. Yeah, hell, even most Marvel Legends figures. There is a cut at the thigh. And were the armor piece not in the way, it would do a full 360 degree rotation, but the armor is there. It's supposed to be there. At the knee, it's on a hinge and swivel. Gives you that much bend, which is better than 90, and a full 360 degree rotation. At the ankle, down that far. Up that far. And forward facing pin for Rocker. And that, my friends, is a look at George Lucas in his cosplay Stormtrooper uniform. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have George Lucas cosplaying as a Stormtrooper next to an Imperial Stormtrooper and the Jeddah Patrol Stormtrooper. Here's George in his cosplay Stormtrooper outfit next to the Imperial Incinerator Trooper and from Scar Squadron, Sergeant Creel.
Here's George Lucas in his cosplay uniform with our final Black Series comparison, the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper, and to see how he starts comparing up with other lines from the Marvel Legends series, making his cameo appearance, we have Stan the Man Lee. Here's cosplay George Lucas with the G.I. Joe Classified series Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander. And for a 7 inch comparison from Mattel, we have the Masters of the Universe Masterverse 40th Anniversary He Man. For final thoughts on the Star Wars The Black Series Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary Retro Carded George Lucas in Stormtrooper Disguise, you know, I have to say, this is a pretty good mold. This Stormtrooper uh, Mandalorian mold is really good. It's well articulated. This one comes with the right accessories, helmet, of course, and a blaster. It would have been nice if he also had included the belt with the blaster holder, holster, whatever you want to call it, on it. That that would have been just over the top. The head sculpt on this one is pretty decent, I have to say. That's a it's a pretty nice likeness, I suppose, to George Lucas. Has a nice wash on it. And again, it just overall it looks pretty nice. If you're looking to build Stormtrooper army, don't be scared of this one. The helmet fits on the head nicely and you can't see who it is. And this one is currently, as of shooting this video, running uh, cheaper than any other Stormtrooper option. So if you're looking to army build, Right now, as of this recording, this one is the one to get. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.